Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. So today is the first day of summer of the second year. So yesterday was the pet race, the last day of spring, and actually I just came third place. So in the first year, I feel like the pet race was so easy and uh, my cat Mickey had 10 hearts, so it was super easy, but uh, this time I entered with Gray. Uh, who's my mini wolf, but unfortunately he only had four hearts and it was just so 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 much more difficult So I ended up third place this time So I'm not gonna show off this trophy in my house or anything I'm just gonna hide it in one of these chests I'm gonna put this away and there's quite a few things I want to do today So since it's the first of the month usually there's always like new animals So I don't know if I've discovered all animals yet, but I'm gonna go around try to see if there's anything new also, as you can see, I'm gonna have some bananas growing here, so I'm gonna go to the general store, buy some banana trees. I wanna plant some over here, so I'm gonna cut all of these. I also wanna buy, I think, cacao and coconuts and mango and all of the other things there are. And also, I think there's watermelon in the summer, so I'm just gonna plant I think all watermelons here because I think it's the most valuable crop oh I'm just gonna have to redo this little garden over here I think that if you don't have sprinklers so if you till your soil and you have sprinklers and you basically water the soil every day it's not gonna disappear it's gonna stay tilled but I feel like if you don't water it and if you let it dry it's just like after a few days it's gonna until oops wrong tool uh, it's gonna until automatically I feel like like if you just because I did till it a few days ago and now it's back to just grass so let me just do this by the way guys I know I made a whole video about it but I just want to say how happy I am with the new update like the loading times are so much faster so if you guys didn't know there's the version 1.0.3 that just came out and it improved the loading times most most of the time now the loading screens are twice if not sometimes three times faster oh also i'm gonna have to oh, take care of this so now i have a bear every day i have so much honey so let's just do this very quickly i'm gonna have to make more honey makers but i think i don't have enough flowers for that just yet yeah, I'm gonna have to buy some flower seeds as well. So we're gonna do that. We really have a lot of things to do. Let me just take out my animals. So I haven't seen any new animal actually. I've been kind of roaming around and try to see something. So maybe I already had one of each animal, I think. All right, so I'm gonna put my final sprinkler. So if I counted correctly in this area, I should need 192 seeds so it's 200 minus eight sprinklers so let me buy some seeds and i'll be right back all right so we have quite a few new seeds so actually there's zucchini which takes eight days to grow it's quite cheap so i'm thinking it probably doesn't make too much profit and there should be watermelon oh so there's pineapple and watermelon which costs 1000 g per seed so it's super super expensive it takes nine days to grow but i can only imagine it must make quite a big profit and actually i like when seeds take longer to grow so you don't have to pick it up every few days right pineapples takes six days i kind of want to buy both but you know what i think i really want to make a lot of money because i need to buy the new house expansion which is one million so let's just buy 192 watermelon seeds and surprisingly i still have money left because i've been saving so much during spring i think with the remainder i'm gonna buy so i have cacao almond coconuts lemon banana peach oh that's new mango um okay so i think banana i would like to have quite a few so let's buy 10 bananas and i think i'm gonna put some lemon in the area where i have like close to my orange trees and I'm not sure, so coconut's gonna be nice. We're gonna have some other palm trees to go with my bananas. You know what, I think I'm gonna buy some cacao seeds. Let's buy five almonds. I feel like almonds are boring, right? Maybe, maybe later. Um, peach, did I buy peach? Okay, let's buy some peaches. And I need to keep 
some money for flowers, right? So let's go buy some flowers. Oh, and it seems like we've triggered a little cutscene. So Lynn is reading a letter and it says, Dear Lynn. So since Lynn went to live in the countryside, it's been quite a long time. So how are you doing for us? It's pretty much the same as usual. Nothing changed. Oh yes, um, so it's about Michela. She was finally able to get the boyfriend of her dreams. Ooh, congrats to Michela. I don't know who is she, is she a friend or a sister? I don't know, if maybe it's a letter from her parents. Thanks to you, even after you were gone, I continued to go to the tea party that we were doing on Saturdays, but I finally ended up all by myself. Oh, so maybe they were a group of friends with Michela and this other person, right? I see, and it's a little bit lonely, it's feeling a little bit lonely, but I have the intention of continuing the tea parties by myself. Oh my gosh, that's, <laughs> that's so lonely. Uh, if you come over here, please contact me. Your best friend, Sandra. Oh, I see, so that's Rin's best friend. Oh, that's so cute. And, oh, we just got her. <laughs> She says, welcome, what kind of flowers are you looking for? Actually, I just want to buy flower seeds. Hey, what, what's that? Um, so this is a letter from my friend when I was living in the city. I've been living here for quite some time, but from time to time, I still get letters from her. If you want, should I choose some flowers for you? What kind of flowers do you like? Oh, yeah, of course. Um... So you can choose kind of bright flowers or relaxing flowers or gorgeous flowers. Hmm. I want to I want to go for gorgeous flowers. I don't know if it makes any difference, but uh, she says, "Of course, please wait a moment. Mm, maybe something like that. I'm not as good as my grandfather yet to make flower bouquets." I'm sure it must be so beautiful. Oh, she says, uh, Josh, so you are working on the farm, right? So I'm guessing this is like a one heart event or something that most people should get in the beginning because it's like very basic, like, oh, what do you do? What's your job? But I've been here for over a year already. And yeah, <laughs> we got this basic question. So she's asking what kind of flowers are blooming on my farm? Actually, none at the moment. She says, sorry for asking weird things all of a sudden. I like to pick up flowers in the field and then uh, do pressed flowers. The seasons and nature and just like this, like keeping a diary. Mm, I don't know, maybe she's pressing flowers in a diary or something. I'm not too sure. She says, I'm going to send that to my friend who's living in the city. I see, I see. So she says, sorry, it's only me who's been talking. Oh, that's okay. I like to get to know other people finally after living here for a year. And she says, uh, all right, see you. Thank you so much for spending fun time with me. Well, thank you so much, Lynn. That was nice to get to know you a little bit more. Yeah, we got the bouquet. I don't know if it's the same thing. Yeah, it just is Lynn's bouquet. So I don't think no matter the option that you choose, it's always going to be the same. But... I think we can put that in our house. Let's say hi to Gwen. And he says the Petris was fun. It healed his heart. <laughs> so of course everybody's talking about the Petris. So let's just buy some... Maybe since we've got a bigger house actually, maybe I can buy something cute to put in my house, right? Something like this or maybe like this one as well. Uh, but I want to use most of my money though to buy actual maybe hibiscus, sunflowers, marigold, petunias. And yeah, let's buy let's buy a little bit of everything actually. I'm not too sure which one is the best for honey. All right, I think I calculated things pretty perfectly so let me just water these and after that I'm gonna go plant some of my new trees. 
Also, I'm very close to reaching level 10 in agriculture, and I think once you reach level 10, you unlock the big seed maker, which allows you to make just a few more seeds at a time, but still not that much. Uh, but I don't know if there's anything else I'm gonna unlock uh, once I reach level 10, and once I reach level 9 in mining, then I'm gonna unlock the new mining map to get our recalcon, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, so, alright, let's just plant some trees here, right? So, since we're near the beach, I'm thinking maybe... Oops. Uh, <laughs> maybe I can plant some coconut here. And maybe over here, maybe we can plant some bananas. Just gonna have to move this seed maker. I'm not using this. And also, I wish you could use the seed maker to make seed for the fruit, for the trees, right? But you can only use it for the crops, unfortunately, so you can't... Like if you put a banana or whatever, you're not gonna get a seed for a tree. Oops, I messed up. So if you mess up, you can just use your hammer like this. So if it's on the first day, you're gonna be able to get it back. And where is it now? Okay, right here. And I'm just gonna put a little gate here as well. Like this. All right, so we don't have too much time. Uh, let me just check these trees. Maybe I can plant some lemon like right here Like this and like this and I think I'm gonna move this tree Actually, I'm gonna chop it and I'm gonna plant it here. So I have the same thing like here and here, right? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have to just sacrifice a little tree Unfortunately, I don't like doing that, but there's no way to move them otherwise Actually, they give you quite a bit of wood, right? For such a small tree, I really didn't expect. Actually, I didn't expect them to give me anything. Uh, so let's plant this here. Okay, all right. So now let me plant my flowers very quickly. And I have this little bear hanging out here pretty much every day. And now I'm gonna plant a few more palm trees near my beach. So let me clear up this area over here. All right, so I'm gonna plant a mix of coconuts and bananas. All right, so I got a feeling this is gonna look pretty good once everything grows. And I think I'm gonna go to bed pretty early today. So I'm just gonna, oh, of course my bag is always full. Let me just clear some space. All right, so before we go to bed, I just wanna place a few things. So we've got all of these new plants. So let's see how this one looks. Looks pretty cute. I just want to place it in the corner right here. And I have another one. I bought two, right? Oh, yeah. There's this one here. Um, well, I don't have that many options. So for now, I'm just going to place it here. Maybe I can have a little sofa here and like a little, a little something there. I'm going to make I'm going to make something that looks good, I swear. Uh, and here we can place Lin's bouquet. So maybe here I can place everything that the villagers give me. I know you can get like a snow globe and a yo-yo, I think, from Jack. You can get this bouquet from Lin. I'm not sure what are the other items. But yeah, let's just go to bed. And I love seeing all the little pets play together. The little interactions are just so cute. But yeah, let's go to bed. All right, so we're now on the next day and let's see how our little trees are doing. Oh, I'm curious to see. These bananas look <laughs> very interesting. I don't know if that's a flower or... There's this little purple thing. I've never seen... I'm guessing that's a banana flower or... <laughs> I don't know what these look like in real life, but that's interesting. So we're gonna have bananas here. You know what? I actually like walking around my farm with the little camera. I wish there was like a first person. I wish you could play in first person actually in this game. I think that would be pretty cool. Because the game actually looks pretty good like this. And I don't know, it just feels so much more immersive if you could actually walk around your farm like this. I don't know, I feel like that would be fun. Uh, let's check our seeds. So that's our watermelon. It seems like it's doing good. And then we've got all of our new palm trees. This is gonna look great, guys. This is gonna look great. And we've got our mushrooms growing. We're gonna make a lot of money during the summer. I actually find it quite annoying how the animals are behaving in this game. So my chickens always end up on this side over there. And it's the same for my barn animals. They always end up outside here on the left side of the barn and on this one they always end up like just all around it so 
it, it gets really hard to get to certain animals or just to go through. I wish they would just like, I don't know, come a little bit forward and just move a little bit more around, right? But they all cram together in the same space, so I find the animal behavior to be <laughs> a little bit annoying. I mean, it's not too bad, but hopefully this is something they can fix in some future update. Alright, so it's now the next day. I didn't do much special yesterday and I decided to bring Gray for a walk. He's always getting stuck somewhere, but I don't want him to lose the pet race another year in a row. So I really gotta improve my friendship with him. And you know what? I'm gonna go to the Sprite Village and see if they have anything interesting for me. So I try to come here about once a week because uh, it takes quite a lot of time if you come every day. Uh, but if you come once a week, things will accumulate and then they will give you lots of stuff. Especially this one, Mishipon, gives you dishes. He gives you lots of food. Look at this, guys. I have so many different dishes. I didn't have to do anything. And yeah, that's very useful if you want to go mining or just like for giving gifts to villager. That's very, very useful. And this one gives you like animal stuff. This one gives you wood. And I'm missing this one, there's a Tsuripon, the, like the little fishing sprite, I think he can give you some fish. So he's the only one missing, I have to uh, unlock him at the shrine, but yeah, maybe, maybe we can do that actually. Alright, so I now have unlocked all of the little sprites, I don't know if there's gonna be a cutscene or anything special, so let's go back to the sprite village. And yes, so we have a little fishing sprite here. So, but yeah, there, there's not any cutscenes or anything uh, when you unlock all of the sprites. But yeah, it's good to come here once a week just to get your items. And I don't know why, for some reason, I feel like later on, maybe with the expansion pass, but I feel like this area really looks like a place we're going to be able to go to later on. I don't know if it's just me, but it really looks like there's a little path here that we can unlock something. So actually, I think I'm gonna go mining today and hopefully I can get level 9 in mining and unlock the new area. When it comes to gaining experience with your skills, I'm really wondering if it makes a difference what kind of rocks you're hitting. So if I hit a small rock or if I get gold or a recalcon, is there more valuable rocks that are gonna give you more experience or are they all the same and like... Just by using your hammer on any kind of rock, it just gives you the same amount of experience. That's something I guess I would have to test to know more in detail, so I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, I think I should be able to reach level 9 today. Alright, so I'm kind of running out of energy right now, but I'm almost there, but... I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach level 9 today, unfortunately. Maybe I can try again tomorrow. All right, so it's now the next day. I'm gonna take a look at my crops, my animals, and I'm gonna go back mining. Oh, and I think my mushrooms are, oh no, they're not ready quite yet. Oh yeah, it is ready actually. So let me pick these up. And I'm almost there, guys. I think a few more rocks and we're gonna finally be at level nine. And then tomorrow we're gonna go get our recalcon and yeah, I really need our recalcon so bad. Not only for the house expansion, but just oh yay, we made it. So I think uh, tomorrow. So let me see. Actually, I got um, two recipes. Also, the value of the stone, the gems and ingots that I ship has increased. Uh, but I got this oh so this is a welcome gate so i definitely i'm gonna try to do that i want to see how that looks like takes lots of ores but uh, that looks kind of beautiful and uh, a beautiful uh, street lamp so you know what let's try to craft this and after that i want to see our new area so let's just go out of here I feel like I've been waiting for this day for just so long, so, so long. I know most people probably get to there in their first year, but somehow I feel like, I don't know if I'm playing slowly, but other people get married in their first year and they unlock all of these nice areas and and I, I don't know, <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm behind everybody. All right, so let's see how that gate looks. It takes quite a few ores, but it's not too, too expensive. And I don't know how big it is. 
Oh, it's quite big actually. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. I wish it came in different colors and stuff, but actually it looks pretty good. I'm definitely gonna use this when I start decorating my farm a little bit more kind of properly. Uh, but yeah, I, have to, I still have to take care of my animals, but no, maybe like somewhere around here. I wish you could kind of place it in diagonal though. Like the bridge is in diagonal and this thing is in diagonal as well. And my, my wolf is just pushing the rabbit. Oh gosh, I hope he can find his way back home so far. I'm gonna have to pick up my hibiscus as well. Oh, maybe here, here could be good, right? Okay, let's try to make something nice here. So what do we think of this? I think it's not bad, right? It looks like a little entrance that you would have for a mine. You know what? I think it's nice. I think it's good. I think I'm gonna <laughs> keep it like this. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to decorate my farm a little bit more. I've unlocked quite a few benches, recipes and things like that. So yeah, definitely gonna check that. And I want to take a look and see if I can go there right away or if I have to wait tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think I've unlocked it right away. And here it is guys, I just woke up and there's this little cutscene, so the sprite just came to my place. And they say we want to give a gift to Josh who has a lot of power to break rocks. So there's a place that only the sprites know how to get there and yeah, they're gonna introduce me. So let's check it out. Yay, so here it is finally. As you can see there is at least one Orichalcon. Uh, but yeah, so basically you can come here to mine once in a while, so the rocks will spawn back little by little, so they don't spawn back every day, but um, kind of like on your farm, right? But you have one dedicated area just for rocks, so wow, this is so satisfying <laughs> to be hitting all of these rocks at once. Okay, let me just get that Orichalcon. I wonder how many ores I'm gonna get with just one. I think it's just one per... Oh, three actually. Okay, that's pretty good. That is so satisfying actually. That just makes things so much easier. I'm, I think I'm still gonna have to go to the mine if I need like a lot of gold, for example. Because it doesn't seem like there's too many gold. It seems like there's a lot of iron, silver, uh, and just like basic rocks, but... Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a game changer, especially for our Recalcan, and I'm gonna be able to do so much things with that. Also, if you want to uh, repair the hydroponics plant, you need 50 Recalcan ores, right? So, which is quite a lot. Oh, and it seems like there's some mushroom as well, so it's not only rocks. There's some little white mushrooms. And yeah, if I have one recommendation for you guys is don't wait until the second year to upgrade to get to level 9 of mining. Maybe try to make sure you get there a little bit earlier. Maybe you have to go mining a little bit more often than I did. Because um, I feel like unlocking this area just makes everything, everything so much easier. So I think that's going to be it. But let's see, so I already got 8 Orichalcon, lots of gold, 1 diamond, some mushroom. Yeah, so I'm very very happy about this area. Oh, and our bananas are doing pretty good. These ones too, they're growing fast. Um, yeah, I just need to make sure there's no other trees growing here. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty much it guys. I don't know if this is a shorter video or not. I've been playing for 2 hours, but... There has been lots of moments where I was just doing my chores and I feel like not much was happening. So maybe it's going to end up being a very short video, but who knows. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Story of Seasons content like this. I'm going to see you in the next video and I just want to see how this looks with the little palm trees and the watermelon flowers. This is so good. I really wish I could come here in real life. But yeah, alright guys, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.